Hi guys, welcome to the second installment in the Logarithms uh, or Log series. Um, originally, originally I was going to do probably three videos, but I'll probably end up doing maybe four or five. We'll see how we go. Um, so this one again is going to be quite brief. So we're looking at logarithms in terms of simple equations. These are quite basic ones and it's going to be an extension on from the lesson beforehand. Last lesson we looked at how to write logarithms. For example, we looked at things like, um, let's say, 4 squared equals 16 and we learned how to write that in logarithm form. Can you remember how to do that? Okay, hopefully you've said it's going to be log to the base of 4 and the answer which is 16 and it's always equal to the index of the power. Okay, so that's how we write that form. So what we're going to look at this lesson is applying it to actual questions. Okay, so for example you might get the question um, the log of 16 with base 16, 8 is equal to x. Now obviously this is an equation because we have an unknown which is x. Remember thinking about the form of where logs come from this will be my index, my indice. Alright, that's my base of 16. My answer in this case is 8. Now this is a, a quite a challenging question to start with. So I'm going to rewrite this now in terms of index form. So we know that the base is 16, which is the base there. We know the power indice is the x, and the answer is going to be 8. So we have to try to work out what x is going to be. Now we can use logs, and later on we'll use logs more thoroughly, particularly when they're at a base of 10, but in this case it has base of 16 so we can't do, do, do the normal way. But what we can look at is we can change these to have the same base. Okay, You might recognize that both of these can be converted to both have a base of 2. Now 8 is 2 to the power of 3. 16 is 2 to the power of 4. We've got the x there. Now you might recognize straight away that you can multiply them because that's inside outside bracket rule. So 2 to the power of 4x is equal to 2 to the power of 3. The reason why we've now done that because the bases are the same. We can simply compare the two indices. We can say that 4x must equal 3. Hence x is equal to, we divide by 4 to get simply 3 over 4. And you can see with trial and error, you're probably not going to be able to find that that indice there, okay, that one there, is going to be to the power of 3 quarters. Okay, so that's quite a challenging question to, to, to begin with, um, but we'll have a look at a few more. So in this case, what we're doing, we're starting with an actual logarithm, we're converting it over to index form, and then we're solving it. Okay, let's have a look at a second example. Let's look at the log, now this time of base x, 10 is equal to negative 2. So what you'll find when you're doing these sort of equations, any of these three could be the one that we're trying to find. Okay, So it's really important that we know how to write this back into index form. We know that x is the base. Okay, The power is always that bit there, that, that answer bit. So it's going to be power to the negative 2 is equal to, and that 10 is going to be my answer. And now it's a matter of trying to solve that as best I can. So let's convert this x to the power of negative 2 with a positive index. Okay, so hopefully you know that negative is 1 over x, and the square goes there, is equal to 10. When I'm trying to look at fractions and sort of um, compare them, I like having them both as fractions, so I'm going to put it as 10 over 1. Now I don't like having the x squared on the bottom there, so what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to simply um, find the reciprocal of both of them. If I, if I do that for both of them, I can do that. Okay. So x squared is equal to 1 over 10. Now if I square root both sides, we're going to get x is equal to, well the square root of 1 is simply 1 over the square root of 10. <laughs> okay. Again, that's a pretty tough question question and a, and a pretty tough equation to sort of start with. But you can start seeing where you start with a logarithm, we then need to rewrite that in terms of index form, and then we're trying to solve it as you would for normal indices sort of problems. 
okay um, again this is a lot of practice involved and you just could do question after question okay let's go for another question now it's number three we have to go to the log with base 4 with an answer of x is equal to negative 2 so once again you start with that logarithm form we want to write this in terms of indice our 4 is our base so 4 to the power of negative 2 that's our answer there is equal to x all right like last question let's simplify this with a positive indice so the negative means 1 over and it's 4 squared well, what's 4 squared 4 squared is 16 is equal to x and actually you know what you get your answer because x is now equal to 1 16th okay that's a bit of an easy one that one let's have a go at question 4 we might do let's say the log with base 3 answer of x is equal to 4 so once again maybe now pause this see if you can rewrite it at least in index form then have a go at solving it for x okay well hopefully you got this right let's see we know that our base is 3 it's the power of 4 is our power there is equal to x once again this is a quite an easy question because we can just do 3 to the power of 4 um, or we can do that on our calculator but the answer will be simply x is equal to 81 because 3 to the power of 4 is equal to 81. Those last two I probably should have started off because those last two were probably easier than the uh, first ones. But I'm going to finish off with quite a challenging question now. Number five. Again, if you're going too fast, you're not sure of a step, just pause it, rewind it, and, and, and move on. Okay, I'm going to give you this question. The log with base 16, the answer will be x plus 3, and equaling to the power of negative 3 quarters okay so once again this is a harder question because obviously it's not just x here it's x plus 3 I want you to pause this have a go at it again put this in index form that's the very first step and then try to solve and then see how far you can get okay how'd you go first of all let's write an index form as I said over here the base is 16 my indice is negative 3 quarters is equal to an answer of x plus 3. Now guys, this is a challenging question, okay? So don't worry, that is supposed to be difficult. So what I'm going to do, I want to obviously write this in, in, the, in it with a positive indice. So there's lots of different ways that you can actually do this, okay? We know it's going to be 1 over, that's my negative okay now I've got 16 to the power of 3 over 4 16 to the power of 3 over 4 now to be honest you've probably got a calculator so you might be able to do this on the calculator to make it a lot easier for yourself and, and by all means you're, you're okay to do that but I'm just going to show you a non-calculator way um, 16 to the power of negative 3 over 4 I mean if we did this in um, positive index form in third form it looked like this um, Okay, that's quite difficult to do. What I'm actually going to do, I'm going to convert the 16 to a power with a base 2. So I know that 2 to the power of 4, okay, is 16. And what you might notice, that if I do 4 times negative 3, that's negative 12. Negative 12 divided by 4 is negative 3. So I actually get 2 to the, um, to the power of 3. Okay, so that negative is already gone, hasn't it? So it's 2 to the power of 3, which obviously is going to be 1 over 8. Now, if we put that back in where this was, again, you've probably got 1 eighth on the calculator. I'm happy for you to get that because it's probably easier. Um, but let's read right now. It's 1 eighth, which was my 16 to the power of negative 3 over 4, is equal to x plus 3. And now it's a simple matter of simply subtracting that plus 3 and minusing it from both sides. Okay, so now I get x is equal to what's 1 8th minus 3 well you get minus 2 and 7 8 and again you just do that on a calculator and that will get the answer for you that's a really tough question but it, once again you start with your log convert it to this indice here which I'm circling it's hard to circle I've drawn all over it 
and then rearrange. You can probably do this left hand side on your calculator to make it easy for you, but if you're not sure, have a look at the way I did it there, and then solve it. Okay, so this is solving basic or simple equations, I say, because it's not huge amounts of, of actual logs involved, particularly you're not doing logs on your calculator just yet, but you're converting again logarithms to sort of indice form, like we were doing the introduction. Okay, have a go at some of the questions that are in your textbook or that you have uh, anywhere, and uh, or just make up your own. Okay, I hope this was useful. This is number two. As I said, there will probably be at least another two um, lessons on this. We'll see how we go after that. Any of this is unclear, let me know. I'll try to modify. Have a great day.